God bless you guys. It's Coach Timothy here, and I'm here with another prophetic word of encouragement today. The Lord um, <clears throat> released me to release three different prophetic words um, today. I, this is out of my ordinary, so bear with me as I release these words, but I wanted to show you that image uh, because that is what today's word is about. And um, just a moment here. I'm just uh, getting my notes together. Um, this particular prophetic word is about a vision that I had on September 4th, 2023. Um, this word that I'm giving today about this uh, vision that I had ties in with the other two videos that I released today. Um, the second video was um, Child of Prom a Children of Promise, It's Time, and the first one was You Have Been Approved in Christ. So if you haven't watched those videos, then go back and watch those videos and then come back to this video and maybe this video will help to tie it all together for you. Um, you'll have a better understanding, okay? So as with all prophetic words, it's really important that you take the word of the Lord <clears throat> to the Lord um, that you receive and confirm it, you know, just because it is resonating in your spirit uh, doesn't mean necessarily that it's a word that's specifically for you. So you always want to test the spirits to see whether or not the prophetic word that you're listening to is coming from the Lord, whether or not it's coming from the person saying it, or if it's coming from the enemy. Uh, take it to the Lord, ask the Lord to show you what it is that he wants you to uh, uh, do, you know, to give you instruction concerning this word. Um, what are the next steps for your life? You always want to take the word to the Lord. I cannot stress that enough. Okay. So, um, before we get into this, uh, this word about this vision that I had, I'm going to say a word of prayer as I usually do. So Father, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that you've allowed me to be able to share these words today with your people. Now, as I share this word today, Lord God, about the vision that you gave me of the, of the tree of life, um, I pray, Lord God, that your people will be edified, that they will be exhorted and comforted through this prophetic word of encouragement today. Um, and that it will be able to give them some insight <clears throat> as to what you have for them, Lord God. I decrease myself now that you may increase. Give me the words to say to your people, Lord God. Speak through me as an oracle of God. I just thank you, Lord God, that you, uh, your words are, are, are perfect and true and never return to you void, but they are... Uh, uh, prosper where to you send it and they accomplish that pl what pleases you. And so I thank you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that even as I decrease and, in and you increase in me, Lord God, that you'll get the glory out of my life. Put your words on my tongue, put your words in my mouth that I may be able to explain this vision with clarity and understanding so that your people can receive the revelation that they need in Jesus' name. I ask, oh God, uh, that no weapon formed against me is able to prosper. And I, I, I pray right now uh, that every single tongue that rises against me or this word um, in judgment, that I condemn it right now in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, guys, so let's get into this last word for today. Again, if you haven't, go back and watch those other two videos uh, that I released. <clears throat> um, the first video was, um, you have been approved in Christ. And then the second video today was, uh, Children of Promise, it's time. So here's the third um, video, uh, and it's the vision of the tree of life. So I'm just going to read to you what I had, um, what the Lord gave me on September 4th, 2023. I'm just going to read it as it is, and then I'm going to go through it and, and break it down. Amen. So as I was praying, asking the Lord not to let me be mocked, but to release the finances, provision, people, and things that I need in order to to pay who I owe and become a success in business, winning souls for Christ. I was also praying for this week to be a week of the manifestation of miracle after miracle after miracle. When I got silent to see if the Lord had something to say or show me, he gave me a vision of a humongous tree with lots of roots on it. I didn't know what he meant by it, so I decided to search uh, on Google for such a tree. Immediately, I saw the exact image of the tree that I saw in my vision. When I clicked on the image, it said it was the tree of life. So the Lord was showing me an image of the tree of life. And so here I decided to look in the scriptures. So it says here are the scriptures that talk about a tree of life. And so I looked at several scriptures. The first was Genesis 
chapter two, verse nine. Now, <clears throat> when I released those other two videos today, the Lord had um, reminded me to look at this, this, this uh, vision of the tree of life that I had written down in my journal on September 4th. And when I saw this uh, verse, Genesis 2, 9, I immediately saw that it begins February 9th. So I don't know what that means uh, for some of you, but you'll know. Um, it begins February 9th, okay? And that's today. So um, this is the verse that goes with that. It says, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then the Lord gave me Genesis chapter three. Uh, do I want to read this? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Genesis chapter three, verse 22, it says, and the Lord God said, behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Then the Lord gave me um, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. And it says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he that winneth souls is wise. Then he gave me Proverbs 13 and 12, and it says, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. And then he gave me Revelation 2 and 7. It says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And then uh, he gave me Revelation chapter 22, verse two says, in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And then the last one he gave me was Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of this into the city. Now, we know that, it, you know, putting these scriptures in context, they're not all um, specifically talking about one thing, but the, the focus here is the tree of life, okay? And so that's what I'm gonna focus on because that's the vision that the Lord gave me on September 4th, uh, 2023. He gave me a vision of the tree of life. And so I'm gonna go through... <clears throat> what uh, the Lord gave me concerning that. So it says, um, so this is, uh, this tree of life is pertaining to everyone, to the children of promise, okay? So that's why I told you to go and watch the second video. It's pertaining to the children of promise and also that the children of promise have been approved. So that's why I told you to watch the first video, all right? So it says, um, this is what I got from the Lord. It says, and of then, whereby, and just so you guys know, sometimes the Lord, um, when he gives me a word, he gives it to me in almost like a riddle, riddle form, um, or either in like, um, almost like an old English. Sometimes I get that sometimes, not always, but sometimes I get it in an old, old English. And I just, I, I know exactly what the Lord is saying. So if it sounds funny to you, I'm going to break it down. Don't worry. All right. So it says, um, and of then whereby the part of the husbandman's land budded forth to grow, the Lord God caused every firm branch that is precious and of a beautiful countenance to, a countenance to appear approved and enjoy the experience of looking at one another's mark and meet the present to be regarded with respect as a seer. In my case, uh, uh, many of you have, are becoming seers, uh, prophetic seers, um, and as is my case, um, the Lord called me to be a seer. So um, I'm going to go back into it. So, so as a seer in the sight of others that spied and stared um, and with good things, the men and women were beautiful, bountiful, at ease and favored with loving kindness and the sweet prosperity of wealth, ready to eat the fruit in plenty as meat. 
The firmness of life through an appetite for a company causes to revive and make alive and certainly gives the promise of life to quicken and recover, being repaired and restored by God who saves life, uh, lives and surely makes one whole. Also in the midst of his garden, he put a hedge of protection to defend against the firmness of cunning knowledge, perceiving and understanding um, the ignorance of what is declared and taught of good things, what is beautiful and pleasant, and bad things, what is morally evil and displeasing. So I'm going to break that down for you real quick. <clears throat> it says, and, uh, and of them whereby the part of the husband man's land budded forth to grow, the Lord caused... Uh, the Lord God caused every firm branch that is precious and of a beautiful countenance to appear approved. Okay, that's talking about the children of God, the children of promise. God is saying that um, we have budded forth. We have budded forth. We are a part of the Lord's vineyard, right? So we have budded in his vineyard. Um, he's saying that we, we have been caused to become like a firm branch. So remember the, you know, the scripture says that, you know, that Jesus Christ is divine and we are his branches. So we have become firm branches that are precious and of a beautiful countenance. OK, God has beautified the meek. OK, um, to appear approved. And so because he has beautified us, the meek, the humble, those who have gone through the, um, so that we could appear approved. We are now ap appearing approved and enjoy the experience of looking at one another's mark. So in other words, we're getting ready to all see us all come forth. So you're going to come forth, but you're going to see others like you coming forth. You're going to see others that have also been through the wilderness, gone through the storm, gone through the transformation, coming forth just like you. And we're all going to see that we have been marked by the Lord. It's a new remnant coming forth. And so um, it says, and to meet the present. So um, to be regarded with respect. So there, there's a gift that God is getting ready to give to, to, to us, to the children of promise. God is getting ready to give us something. We're getting ready to encounter the gift of the Lord, the present of the Lord. And I mean, and I don't mean, you know, just a spiritual gift. I mean that God is getting ready to give us something in our hands, tangibly, a gift, um, a present that we're going to encounter. We're going to meet. Okay. And so, um, to be regarded, and it's going to cause us to be regarded with respect because, you know, we know that the father of lights, the Bible says that all good gifts come from him, from heaven above, right from him, the father of lights. And so if we are his light now, he is our father, he's giving us a good gift. And this good gift is going to make us like people are going to respect us because of this, what God is giving us. And so he says, um, and he's going to do this. So whatever you're, you're like, my calling is to be, is, is I was called to the prophetic as a seer. Um, but for some of you, you, God may have called you to other, you know, of the fivefold ministry or to other giftings. And so whatever your gifting is, you're going to be regarded with respect for that gift that God has given you to walk in, that calling that God has given you to walk in. Um, so he says, in the sight of others that spied and stared. So he's going to magnify you in the sight of all those that were your enemy, all those that talked about you, all those that ridiculed, all those that mocked, all that, all those that scorned. Um, this is why I wanted you to look at the second video, The Children of Promise is, is talking about all of that. And so um, it says, and, and with good things, the men and women were beautiful. So God is giving us good gifts. Remember again, good things. It says, and with good things, the men and women were beautiful, bountiful, at ease and favored with loving kindness and the sweet prosperity of wealth, ready to eat the fruit in plenty as meat. So again, like you're being put in front of that table, you know, he prepares the tables before us in the presence of our enemies. He anoints our heads with oil and our cups run over, right? So that's what's happening right now. You are being placed at your table to eat the food that he's placing in front of you, the provision, the, 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 the resources, everything that you need in abundance, you're going to have it. Um, that's what the Lord is saying, right? He's saying the good things are going to give you that. It's going to be bountiful. You're going to be at ease. No more will you have to strive or struggle for it um, because you have been favored by God, by his loving kindness, okay? And his sweet prosperity. So um, the firmness of life, through an appetite for a company causes to revive and make alive. So he, he's saying that your life is about to become stable. Your life is about to become 
uh, uh, yeah, established because you have maintained this appetite um, to have, uh, uh, to be revived with, with, with entrepreneurship, to be revived uh, working for a company, whatever it is, you are being uh, um, established, okay? Established to work, established to own, established, and when I say own, I mean as an entrepreneur, established for business, okay? That's what you're, you're being established for business, for business. And so um, it says, being repaired and restored by God who saves lives and surely makes one whole. God has made us whole. He's, he's saying that he's restoring you with the promise of life. You're getting ready to recover all. You're getting ready to quicken, okay? His spirit is about to, to quicken you, okay? You are being repaired. You are being restored. And so also in the midst of his garden, he put a hedge of protection to defend against the firmness of cunning knowledge. So... Um, in this case, there's it's this twofold meaning as the Lord has revealed it to me, is that he's putting his hedge of protection back around you. I've mentioned this in the other video, um, but he's putting his, he his hedge of protection back around you to defend you against deceptive knowledge, to defend you against um, ignorance, okay? Um, because you know the truth. You have, a, you have ascertained the truth. You know the truth of, of the Lord. You know the truth of his word. You know the truth of his commandments. You know the truth of the law. And so nothing can deceive you in that, in that regard anymore. And so um, as long as you stay, as long as you are in alignment with God, if we step out of alignment, of course, there, you can open yourself up for deception and things like that. But as long as you stay aligned to God, that deception won't come in. And also it's twofold. Like I said, the hedge of protection is also going to pr protect you against your gifts, uh, with your gifts. So in other words, other people won't be able to, to, to penetrate that hedge of protection to try and take advantage of your gifts, to try and take advantage of, uh, of what God has given you. Okay, so um, perceiving and understanding the ignorance of what is declared. So you're going to, like I said, um, you're going to be one of those people who, are, who is going to be teaching others about what you have learned about good and evil. You know, what is beautiful and pleasant, you know, the good things and then the bad things, what is morally evil and displeasing. You can rightly divide between them now. You can differentiate between them easily. And so you are going to have that um, understanding that will be able to teach others, okay? So moving on, it says, and the Lord God spoke, if the people that are last, the underdogs, have become first, unified as one with me to be aware of cunning, diligent to discern ignorant instruction, being learned to perceive the lies of man and marked as a prophet or uh, uh, in your case, whatever your calling has been, regarded with respect as a man or woman of skill, be sure to tell and teach understanding of good and evil. And now, unless he reaches out his hand for work, okay, and he himself labors left-handed, the ministry of, now, now, okay, so I'll come back to that. The ministry of the ordinance of power is presumptuously service to draw strength by himself in times of waiting by the wayside where you work for the yield yourself and receive a win also of the firmness of life and eat freely and plenty of meat, always saving your life from the things that are concealed from your sight. So I'm going to break that down because I know that was a little challenging. So, and the Lord spoke. If the people, so he, the Lord says, if anyone, um, if, if anyone who has, be, who was humbled or anyone who was counted as last, anyone who was counted out, anyone who was, um, counted as the underdog, really. Um, if you have become the leader, if you have become the head and not the tail, if you, have come, if you have become above and not beneath, if you have become first and not last, um, because you have united yourself in Christ, with Christ, um, to be a follower of Christ, to be a disciple of Christ, um, to be aware of deception, to be, a, uh, um, uh, to be aware of Satan's devices, his schemes, his cunning, yeah? Um, to, uh, to be aware and diligent to discern when uh, instruction, when you hear doctrine or instruction being taught wrong, um, being learned to perceive the lies of man, you know, uh, uh, when people are calling themselves speaking the word of God, that you, you are able to discern rightly. Yeah, you are able to, to divide the word of truth um, rightly. And so um, God has marked you, okay? You are a person of skill, 
now because you know how to do this. Some people, every, there, there are a lot of people who have itching ears now. They're, they're being persuaded by every wind of doctrine and it's gonna be up to you to help them to discern uh, and to understand exactly what is right from God and what is not from God, okay? Um, so it says, and now unless he reaches out his hand for work and he himself labors left-handed. Now left-handed in a sense is talking about um, warriors. You know, there was a left-handed tribe. I'm actually left-handed. Um, there was a left-handed tribe, remember from the tribe of Benjamin. And so um, they were warriors. The Bible says that they, was, they were skilled warriors. And so many of you have now become through the trials and tribulations that you have gone through, you have become skilled in warfare. Okay, so the Lord is counting you now as a warrior who labors for him, okay, in ministry. And so, mm, the ministry of the ordinance of power is presumptuous service to draw strength by him seven times a week. The ministry of the ordinance of power. Mm. And so, um, the, the power that the Lord has given you, the power that the Lord is giving you to be able to do the things that he's calling you to do, um, you are drawing strength. And you drew strength. You even drew strength while you were waiting on the Lord to do this for you in your life. You have been drawing strength. I'm storing up that strength, storing it up, storing it up. And so now that time of waiting has come for you to, to you know, release that, that strength, release that power, release what God has given you. Um, because you went through the process, you are receiving um, a yield for yourself. Um, you're receiving a, a, a blessing, a, a, a win for yourself, a, a windfall even for yourself. Um, and it's also, it's going to be enough that what, what is getting ready to come into your life is going to be able to, to make your life stable. It's going to be enough to make your life established. It's going to give it the firmness that it needs. Right now, there's instability. You, you know, there's no firmness with, with things that are happening in your life. So God is getting ready to give you that firmness in your life by the provision of what he's getting ready to cause to fall on his children. And so it says you're going to eat freely and, and, and plenty of meat. You know, that meat, what is the word? It says, the word says this. It says that if a man don't work, a man doesn't eat, right? So, um you're going to eat. That means you're going to be working. You are going to, you, that, that provision is going to cause you to be able to work. It's going to cause you to be able to flourish. You are going to be so busy with work. Okay. So busy. Um, and you are going to be careful. It says always saving your life from the things that are concealed from your sight. So you're always going to be very vigilant of the things that are hidden from you. You are always going to be very vigilant of the things that are that 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 are lurking, okay? So that's the, that's the other thing. So it says the first fruitful reward causes to make you grow with increase. For the man that is justified to turn himself to a righteous man is a firm branch of life with a wild appetite for a company that's revived by the promise of God. And he that gets life himself is refreshed and is a wise man that teaches wisdom and makes one deal wisely. So. This first, so what, is, what God is getting ready to do for you is just going to be the first of many things that God is getting ready to reward you with, okay? So don't think that what you're getting ready to receive from the Lord right now is the only thing that God is getting ready to do for you. No, you are getting ready to experience reward after reward after reward after reward. Why? Because God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, okay? So, um, and these things, these rewards, these provisions, these things that God is getting ready to give to you, they're going to cause you to grow with increase, okay? Um, why? Because you have been justified by the Lord. You have been justified by the Lord. <clears throat> and so you have become righteous and a firm branch of the vine, you know, of Jesus Christ. And so God is reviving you with the promise, with what he promised you. He's reviving you with what, you, with what he promised you and, he, and, and so that you can have um, uh, the success to be able to do what you're going to do in your field of work, okay? Be it have your own company or working for a company. Whatever the case may be, you're going to be flourishing in it, okay? Um, and not only that, but as you're flourishing in it, um, being refreshed, God is refreshing you. Um, he's saying that, you are be, you're going to be a wise person who's going to be able to teach wisdom and, and to show others how to also deal wisely, okay? So uh, it says, waiting with patience and trust extends 
um, and makes a sound to stretch out the mind's understanding of wisdom by being afflicted and grieved enough to make prayer and supplication travail, becoming weak. But when the desire longed after is attained and causes you to be, come in again and eat, it is a firmness of life in a time of living Mary. So God is saying that because you waited with patience going through your circumstances and you trusted the Lord, you trusted the Lord, no matter what you went through, you were trusting and trusting and trusting God. Um, he says, um, it, you have created a sound in the heavens, like a sound has been made. You, 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 you have reached the throne of God. Um, and, and your mind's understanding of wisdom has also been expanded, expanded, yeah, through your afflictions, through your grief. Um, why? Because it taught you, first of all, um, how to prioritize prayer, yeah? Uh, many of you, before your trans transformation, you probably didn't prioritize your prayer life, but now you make it a priority because you understand the need for it. Um, and you, you do it, you, you learned how to do that. You made your prayer life uh, a priority through your supplications in travailing through your transformation process, right? And why? Because you became weak and you know that only Jesus Christ, his word says that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. So when you became weak, that's when you learned to prioritize prayer because that's how you gain strength, okay? But when the desire longed for, longed after is attained and causes you to come in and eat, come in again and eat. It is a firmness of life in a time of living Mary. So the Lord says, you know, you, after you've done all of that, then he guarantees that there will be a time that you, uh, will, that you will work again, that you will be prosperous again, that you will flourish again, and you, your life will be established again, and you will have a time of, of, being, of rejoicing, of being happy, of being joyful, of being at peace, you know, just Mary, you know, M-E-R-R-Y. So he said, um, uh, let me, I just want to make sure here. Okay, so he says, um, he that holds lack needs to recover to reign and rest. Use an ear to hearken to who the Holy Ghost and Spirit of Truth speaks the call to in the church, to him that conquers prevails and gets victory. The means of success will I bring forth and deliver up to grant the minister the offer to have power and receive a strike in the palm of the hand, to take a yield of meat, to live from the substance for a lifetime and be alive. Who that is in a fixed position of rest is among the place of future happiness in God. So um, it says he that holds lack needs to recover to reign and rest. So that was those of us who have gone through, you, you were going through a period, we, this transformational process, transformational process brought you down to such a level in humility that you began to lack. You began to live in lack. And so um, the Lord is saying that people who, who abase themselves willingly for the Lord, they, they need to be recovered. They need to be able to, to, to recover so that they can reign and be at rest, right? So the Lord said that because you use it ear to hearken to the Holy Ghost and to the spirit of truth when you got your call, um, that you, you became like one, it says to him that conquers, prevails, and gets victory. That was you. You conquered, you prevailed, you have gotten the victory. Now the Lord is saying that the means of success will I bring forth and deliver up to grant the minister the offer to have power and so he's, the Lord said, now that you've gotten the victory, he says, I'm getting ready to cause you to be successful. I'm getting ready to bring you forth. I'm getting ready to, to deliver you up um, um, the offer that I've made for you, um, the thing that I've prepared for you um, so that you can have power um, and, and, and rule with authority, reign with authority. He says, and receive a strike in the palm of the hand to take a yield of meat to live uh, from the substance for a lifetime and be alive. Now, to take a strike in the palm of the hand. I don't know if you guys know um, the process of a coronation, like when a king or a queen is crowned. There is a process um, um, in the coronation process that's actually very sacred. Um, they receive a strike in the hand with a, with a spoon. And this spoon, um, they also, um, this, they use this spoon to pour the oil on top of the, of, of the monarch. 
whoever the you know king or queen is. So the Lord is saying that you are receiving the strike because now you are royalty. So they receive, they inherit all of the riches. You know, that's what the kings and queens do. They, re, they inherit all when they become crowned. They are in the inheritor of the, the treasures of, of, of that dynasty, of that bloodline. So you have now inherited all those things as well. And so um, it says to take a yield of meat to live, in, with the, live from the substance for a lifetime. So the Lord is saying that now that you have done all those things, you are being inducted. You have been crowned. You have been, you're receiving your crown of life. You are getting ready to have this substance and it will last for the rest of your days. And not only just for the rest of your days, it will go on for generations. It, it will be a part of who your family bloodline will be. It says, um, who that is in a fixed position of rest is among the place of future happiness in God. So the Lord is saying he's doing this so that he can fix you, so that he can establish you, so that he can put you in a, in a permanent position of rest, in a permanent position of rest. So, um, so that even going into the future, your future time, uh, your family after you, your posterity will also have happiness in God. Okay. I'm almost done, guys. So um, it says, by the way, hereafter, the broad place itself is my own. So the Lord is saying that now that you have inherited, you, you, the, the enlarged territory is yours. So also on both sides of the place throughout is a stream of water to drink of. The Lord has given you a double portion of living water. Okay, for there is a substance for there is the substance of life to quicken. So he's giving you a double portion to always be quickened, to always be quickened um, with life. OK, your life will never be depleted again, never be depleted again. So it says bring forth the cause to commit uh, to the deal without any delay. So, Lord, the Lord is saying uh, to execute and fulfill the game uh, given to have and hold governing authority in a manner of fruit picked and chosen. All right. So the Lord is saying um, he's bringing forth this this uh, the thing that you've been waiting on him to bring forth for you. He's bringing it forth, be it a job, whatever calling, whatever ministry that you wanted to start or do. He's bringing it forth. He's, he's bringing forth the, the, the way that it's going to happen. OK, the encounter for it to happen um, without any more delay. And he's going to execute it and fulfill it. Um, so that you can have it so that you can be able to govern with authority in a manner um, uh, that you choose, that is chosen for you. Like you will choose, like in, in the way that you choose, as long as it's in a godly way, it's going to happen for your good. So, and to give a yield, to pay a recompense as a reward of the same fruit one month after the other. So this is something that's going to be monthly. Monthly increase is going to be your portion. Monthly increase, monthly increase. And it's, it's not about a salary. It's more so that God is just going to be stacking increase on top of increase for you. So it's not going to be something that's just going to be, you know, you, you make $5,000 a month. It, it's, God is going to be stacking that. Like things are just going to be increasing. As the months go on, you're going to receive more and more increase. Okay. And so um, also um, the relatives of the family tree sprouted to grow and produce the substance in the household by worshiping God for the servant of the people. So again, this is the Lord saying, this is going to be extended to your family tree. This is going to be extended to your posterity, those that come after you. This is for generations to come. This is generational wealth. This is generational provision. This is generational resources. This is generational establishing, okay? Your family bloodline will be established because of you, because of what you have done, my God. And so the last thing is this. It says, happy are they that commit to work, show and keep the deal to perform and to do his precepts, enjoined to give the charge to him to follow and to live long, being in the liberty and jurisdiction of strength as a lawful, uh, as is lawful because of the substance of life. Also, he may come and go in through the door entrance to the abundant city as needed while fighting in battle. So the Lord is saying this. He's saying, look, you are going to be so blessed as you commit to do the work of the Lord. He's going to make you so blessed and so prosperous, so happy um, as, you have as you commit yourself to do the work of the Lord, um, to, sh to, to show the, 
you know, the, the word of the Lord everywhere you go, to keep the word of the Lord everywhere you go, to honor what you have made with, in covenant with the Lord to do, because you promised the Lord you were going to do this, so he's expecting you to keep your promise, um, to do his precepts, um, to do uh, as he has charged you, as he has charged you to do. The Lord has already given you a charge, it, your calling. You know, he's already told you what to do, what your purpose is going to be. So um, he's saying so that he's, he's done all of this uh, to follow him so that you can live long and, and, and in liberty and in the jurisdiction of strength. I like how, how the Lord said that to me, in the jurisdiction of strength. So that means like it's, it's a judgment. It is a judgment uh, uh, of strength that has been brought to you. Like God is saying, I have ruled in the favor to give them liberty and strength as a judgment. Um, he says, as is lawful, right? He says, because of the substance of life, because of everything he's getting ready to give to make your life better. Um, also, he may come in and go through the door. Remember, Jesus Christ is the door. John 10, 9, he says, I am the door and those that come in shall be saved. And he shall go in and out and find pasture, right? So the Lord is saying, you are going to do that. He's saying that he's given you access. You know, yes, we have received access through salvation, but it's a new level with you. God is getting ready to take you deeper into the spirit realm. He's getting ready to take you deeper into the things of God. You're getting ready to experience God in a different way. It's not just going to be like, oh, yes, I'm saved. And so the Lord has given me access to his door. No, <laughs> it's more than that now. Yes, you will be able to come in and out like every other saint that has accepted God in salvation. But the Lord is saying that you are going to be elevated in a way that you're going to see the deeper things of God. You're going to experience the deeper things of God. You're going to uh, uh, um, sense the deeper things of God. Um, and, and, he, and you're going to do it with abundance. Like you, you, in, his, in, in his city, in the Lord's realm, there is abundance and your abundance will never run out. Okay? So, um, and it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a storehouse. This is the, the vision that I'm getting now. It's kind of like a storehouse when you go in to get the artillery that you need for battle. So it's kind of like the Lord saying, like, my door is always going to be open to you. You come in and get what you need as you need it. Okay? So I see right now, I just see, I even see, I see a lot of, um, uh, what do you call those things? It's like bow and arrows, but the ones that you hold like this, not like this. Um, I forgot what they're called. But I see a lot of those on the wall. <laughs> So a lot of you, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. A lot of you are, have even been, been called to be Joseph's, okay? Joseph. So that means that you'll be in the marketplace. That means you'll be uh, governing over um, commerce um, things. Uh, you'll be in business for sure, okay? So anyway, I, I pray that this blessed you today. Um, if you haven't, like I said, this is all three of these videos that I posted today are connected. So if you didn't watch the first two videos, go back and watch the first two. Here's the first video. Um, you have been approved in Christ. The second video is children of promise. It's time. And now this third video, the vision of the tree of life. Okay. God has given you access to his tree of life. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. I'm excited. I'm really excited. The Lord, he brought this back to my attention because it's time. Um, like I said, this was the Lord gave me this vision back on September 4th, 2023. So, but I didn't release it until now. So, um, it, it's because it's time. <laughs> it's because it's, it's time. You have been planted. You are like a tree. You are like a tree of righteousness. The Bible says uh, the, that we are the planting of the Lord. Okay. So get excited, uh, child of promise, because you're getting ready to. You're getting ready to skyrocket. <laughs> You're getting ready to skyrocket. We're getting ready, and, and we are able to take partake of the God's tree of life. You know, and I'm speaking that metaphorically, but I'm, but it's, you understand what I'm saying symbolically. We are getting ready to eat from the Lord's table. We are getting ready to experience the goodness of the Lord in a way like we have never, ever experienced it. This is the vision of the tree of life that the Lord has given me. So I pray that this blessed you. 
If you haven't already, do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, please, so that you can get notifications of when I'm uploading a video uh, or going live. Just hit that notification bell as well, okay, guys? I love all of you. I thank all of you that have been following me for the past year. Uh, and, and those that are new, God bless you. Welcome. And uh, yeah, until the next time, guys, um, be watching out for my videos. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Take care and be blessed.